minutes. Yeah, only four minutes. Yeah, only four minutes. Only four minutes. Of I know you get like BTS. You don't gotta record. Yeah, it's not <laughs> Growing up, you know, give us kind of the the picture of everything that you were seeing growing up, looking around, and then you hit something like Top Back that kind of influences you to, you know, go full throttle with your musical talents. So I think around the time I was like nine years old, going on to like ten, and I never really paid attention to music as much. So there's a lot of like I'm from Durban, so it's very club heavy, house music heavy. And obviously, like, our parents played a lot of, like, Luther Vandross, uh, Tavia, and stuff Come like that. Come on! The R&B joint! That's me! Is that you? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it was always stuff like that, and then, off the top of that, obviously, I started doing my own research, uh, downloaded, like, Lil Wayne mixtapes, illegally at the time, but... Yeah! Yeah, yeah so, like, I started listening to a lot of Wayne, a lot of Buster Rhymes, Caesar. Okay. Now you have to try it. Alright, so wait, go 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 again. C Caesar. C Caesar. Sway. Yeah, close enough. Close enough. Okay, yeah. okay. Am I am I honorary uh, South African? Yeah. Alright, baby, you checking that too? Yeah, you got it. Alright, baby, we outside, we outside, we outside. We saw that dance in their face, cause they said it'll be gone, so I gotta watch what it face in the states. Better get to a lot more. I've been in a relationship for 11 years. 11 years? Yeah. Make some noise for love! Yeah. 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 yeah, I don't know. That's just, that's just the person I've always wanted to be with. You know, I always knew it, so I didn't fuck it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. And then pouring it back into the music, is that easy for you? Do you hear something and you're like, damn, She writes too, so every now and then she'll send me like poems and, and she'll write verses for me. She even do a song and just send it to me right away. Really? Yeah. Do you incorporate it in your music? I do, I do, I do sometimes, yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, y'all, I need you guys to listen closely because if you're not with somebody who's gonna turn you up and add to that creative energy I know that's and the stuff that you're doing in your life and your career, release them, okay? SOBs! Ooh! I like right. yeah. Yeah. Fuck, no, we have to come back in. Alright, you wanna do this last one? No, no, no. You got the, um... Alright. It's dangerous. Now it's your time. Alright, now it goes. You ready? Everybody's got yeah. about that time. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, it's me. Don't sit there. Come here. You said you said David look like look like who? Take the beard away, he looks just like him. That's Blackie with a beard. Before I dead, Blackie bro, with a beard. I dead don't look like that nigga. <laughs> That's beard of Blackie. <laughs> That's beard of Blackie. That's beard of Blackie. Nah, yeah, I don't think so. Exactly. Blackie with a beard. You say like Blackie with a beard. <laughs> here in New York. What was we out here in New York for? My show here. Yeah. Okay. SOBs. First time. First time SOBs. How was the experience for you? It was insane. Okay. Fire. Okay. Excited with a, with, a, with a capital E. Okay. Give us how you felt being on stage in New York in three C words. Shout out to Blackie. Shout out to South Africa. I haven't listened to any of his music though. That's, we reacted to him on the Mercer Boys, oh. Mercer Boys <laughs> podcast channel. Bust, bust out that dictionary. I know you play Scrabble a couple times. Confident? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why'd you tell that? One? Cold, lyrically. Okay. Last night with, uh, that dude was like, I don't know. Yeah, you can't think of another C word. You're a rapper, buddy. I guess his his features is more 
Extreme. Protrude. In fact. Mm. And plus, we don't even have his nose is like way shorter. Yeah, he does have. He, he has a flatter his nose. His nose literally stops like right here. Like, mm. it, is, it is closer to it. Is, he has like a tighter uh, uh, midsection. I ain't gonna lie. It kind of looked like a ninja turtle. <laughs> <laughs> That. You know what someone was saying? What? That you look like a ninja turtle because they said that yeah. you look like him. But honestly, I'm not even trying to make fun of him. But like right here, it really looks like he has a mask. Because I guess uh, the shadow. Man. Oh, okay. I see it. You know what I'm oh, saying? So he'd be the, the sixth um, Donna Blackie. Right now, it's a mess of You couldn't make me feel like I'm in a mess of bad. You see the past four, ten, like a Mexican. How could you say the yes of bad? So. Or tan like a Mexican, please tell me what that meant by that. I, I'm, I'm confused. Steps. Okay. Because I fly a lot out the country, in and out. We fly in and out the damn country like we're damn Native Americans, but also like Mexicans. No cap. Okay, please let people know where you're at. You're at Bridging the Gap and tell them your damn name. I'm at what? We gotta pay respect to a legend that is in the building tonight. He spent some time with SBC while he was in New York City. Jazz, please insert your name and say you're watching Bridging the Gap. My name is Ashley C and you're watching Bridging the Gap. This guy didn't have all this energy before this. That's why I'm a little like, what the fuck is this? You were quiet the whole time. I was like, wait a minute, The number one president. I mean, y'all know it's Africa, baby. Africa to the world. SOB, thank you. NCC, thank you. Bow! And she's kind of like, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's Beard and Black. That's Beard and Black. <laughs> That's Beard and Black. I'm the most humble but act different next minute. I'll admit it, I'm twisted. Tell me to act innocent, all my living sisters, I'd kill it. Cause now, I ain't gonna lie, I can, I can attest to, to the humble part of it. Like, we literally was at his, uh, his performance in SOBs in New York, and he was pretty. You wouldn't have known he was at the level he is if you were unaware. If we would like, if you if you didn't know who he was, you probably would just come off as a dude standing there. <laughs> yeah, nah, really, because I'm not in tune with Nancy C at all. Mm. And you feel me? He came off like a regular dude, like real humble. He wasn't on some OD flashy. You feel me? You know, inflated ego, inflated head. Nah, that's a fact. You know, I literally just was eating my pizza and. Him and his manager came out and was chopping it up and whatnot. You feel me? So, yeah, I no, definitely humble, genuine dude. You know, I wear a real cool dude, man.